hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to resolve media creation tool error code 0x80072f8f 0x20000 in windows 10 or windows 11 computer guys let's fix it guys for that right click on the start icon select run and in run you just need to type percentage win dir percentage again percentage win dir percentage again click ok in windows folder you just need to search for software distribution guys software distribution double click on it the software distribution folder double click on the download folder and click anything here and control plus a type in keyboard control plus a at the same time see so that will be selected all files in here right click on it and select delete and after getting deleted close out of here and the next thing you want to do is right click on the start icon and select terminal admin select yes now check my video description for this windows powershell guys copy it and paste with ctrl v press enter and after finishing this command you just need to check whether your problem resolved or not if not let's move on to the next solution for that go to search menu and type registry editor click on it open it guys click on yes now in registry you just need to expand the H key local machine and expand the software and expand the Microsoft and expand the Windows folder scroll down Windows folder and expand the current version folder and expand the Windows update folder Windows update Windows update folder and you just need to expand it and click on auto update and at this point you just need to check my video for this file location guys I will zoom in my video you just need to check it out after checking it on right side blank area right click on it and select new select TVO 32 bit value name this value allow a caps letter guys a l l o w allow o s u caps letter guys o s u caps letter p g p g r a d e a caps letter allow o s u caps letter upgrade o s upgrade press enter double click on it change this value data to 0 to 1 click ok after doing it go back for changes take effect you just want to restart your pc guys and after restarting your pc your problem will be solved but if you still having a problem you just need to let's move on to the next solution guys for that go to search menu and type cmd opens up command prompt click run as administrator and click yes now check my video description for this command used in my video you just need to copy one by one with ctrl c and paste it in ctrl v same thing you just do it for these four command guys you just want to do it first and after do it done you just need to check your problem has been resolved or not if you still having a problem after doing this you just need to move on next solution guys if you still having a problem next solution go to search menu and type services click on open it you just need to search for windows update service guys windows update service double click on it and select startup type to automatic and select start select apply and ok after doing it the same thing for background intelligent background intelligent transfer service background intelligence transfer service double click on it the same thing automatic select automatic and start if the service status is stopped and wait for it 
after getting started click on apply and okay and the same thing for server double click on it and select automatic and uh, if the service status is stopped you just want to start it i am already starting it apply and okay and the same thing for workstation workstation w r w r k workstation double click on it and the same thing automatic set startup type is running if you not get running you just want to start it select apply and okay after doing it the same thing for tcp tcp ip net bios helpers double click on it uh, startup type change to automatic and service status is already started you just want to if you never computer if that's it not started stopped you just need to start it click apply and okay the same thing for ini ine and auth ip ip sec keying models double click on it the same thing for this one as well click on start set automatic and apply and okay and after doing this go ahead and restart your pc and after restarting your pc your problem will be resolved and that's it for today's video guys give me a like and subscribe thank you